Next, I'm going to present to you our open interpretation champion. Her name is Mia Dean from the great state of North Carolina as well. <laughs> Mia has shared with me that there is one potentially um, difficult scene. So if you have young, young children with you, you could consider taking them out. The subject area is 9-11. So the title of her, of her speech is A Fall of Marigolds. I give you Mia Dean. breakfast at 845 there's something I want to show you okay call me back the minute you get this I love you I'm pregnant we all have the choice to love and the choice to hate this freedom to love or hate almost always spills over onto each other but if we step back and look at the bigger picture, we can see that love always conquers over evil. A Fall of Marigolds by Susan Meisner. Oh, Mrs. Thayer. Oh, Taryn! Oh, I am so glad we can take care of this before you uh, go. I know how you specialize in fabric, and I promised I would try and find a scarf like the one my auntie has. Uh, Mrs. Sawyer, I, I have an appointment at 8.45 with my husband, Kent, at a restaurant. Oh, this won't take but a minute, Taryn. I have it right here. Oh, oh. oh. beautiful, isn't it? The pattern of marigolds are a soft mix of autumn hues. Oh, I would love to have a replica of this scarf if that's possible, Taryn. I'll, I'll do my best. It's, it's beautiful. Taryn, everything beautiful has a story it wants to tell. But not every story is beautiful. Oh, I'm late. I gotta go. I promise I'll get right on it, Mrs. Thayer. Thank you. It, it was a jet. Oh, I saw it. It flew right into the North Tower. It, it flew right into the North Tower. Oh, Kent. Oh, I have to call him. Oh, God, let him get out. Oh, phone, phone. Oh, I left it at home. Uh, please, can I um use your phone? Uh, can I please borrow your phone? Uh, my husband is in the North Tower. Oh, can I please borrow someone's phone? Up uh, here, but uh, I don't know if it will go through. What floor did he work on? Um, the uh, 34th, but that's not where he was. I, I left him a voicemail to meet me on the 106th floor. I, uh, it's not going through. Um, here. Uh, Mick. Uh, my name is Mick. Uh, I can try texting him. Uh, what do you want it to say? Um, tell him I'm safe. Uh, uh, tell him I love him. Um, tell him. Tell him he's going to be a father. Thank you, Mick. The South Tower, it's falling! Run! Kent! Kent! Ah! 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 Hey! Ah! Ah! Don't let go of the scarf! I can't breathe! His, his gown was gone. What was left for me? 
I wondered how it would feel to die this way. I... But then I remembered. Pink Plaza. With the scarf as my lifeline, I, I didn't let go. Thank you. Uh, th th thank you, Mick. I, uh, I have to go. Uh, the only hope I have is Kent might have left the restaurant when I was late. Uh, maybe he was going to meet me in the lobby. Kent, Kent might be home. Kent! 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 Oh, my cell phone. Kent? Eight, forty, eight. Uh, Taryn, uh, there's been an explosion. Uh, a plane crashed into the floor below us. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of smoke up here. Uh, I hope you weren't on the elevator. Uh, call me back the minute you get this. Nine, o'clock. Oh, Taryn, Taryn, we can't, oh, we can't get to the stairs. Oh, it's getting hard to breathe. Oh, they're starting to break windows. Shh. Only, uh, only one way out now. Oh. I, I love you, Taryn. September, 2011. Mom! 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 I, 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 I just got a magazine with, with, with photos from 9-11. From um, some photographer found a memory card in an old camera bag. She, she hadn't seen it in 10 years. Uh, newly discovered photos from 9-11 10th anniversary preview. M Mick Dimitroy, uh, Taryn Michaels. Uh, Mom, that's you! Uh, I didn't know you were there! W why didn't you tell me you were there? M -m Mom? Shh. Shh. Uh, not, not now, Kendall. <laughs> This is Taryn. Uh, Taryn Michaels? This is Mick Dimitroy from 9-11. I'm so glad I finally found you. Uh, I, I saw the photo in the, the 10th anniversary preview. I, I have your scarf. Mrs. saw your scarf? I, I, I thought I'd never see it again. Uh, Taryn, that wasn't the only reason I, I was looking for you. A text message that I had sent earlier that day, it was a reply from your husband. Um, tell him I'm safe. Um, tell him I love him. Um, tell him, tell him he's gonna be a father. Stella, uh, be happy. Hey, Mom! Uh, is that the scarf you, you had in the photo? Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, where was it all this time? Uh, now, that is a long story, Kendall. Um, one that I would like to tell you. Uh, Kendall? This scarf was sent my way so that you could be born. And so that love could continue to triumph. Kendall, 
everything beautiful has a story it wants to tell, but not every story is beautiful.